So we get lots of emails and messages here at Moto Geo asking us what to pack for a motorcycle adventure. So I've set things out, how we do it here, and hopefully this can help some of you. So inside here, I have everything you need to go camping. One quality sleeping bag. This is more of a winter bag, but it works also in the summer. You can unzip it, you can alter, regulate your own heat. I made a mistake on my first trip across America, getting a super lightweight summer bag. It didn't work out too well. I froze almost every single night. Uh, get a good quality sleeping bag, go down to your local camping store. We have a two-man tent. I always go for the two-man tent because you can put your belongings in there, your helmet, bits and pieces from your bag. Sometimes the better quality uh, tents are the easiest ones to put up. So don't be a cheapskate, get a good tent. It's definitely worth the investment. Make sure that you get one of these. An easy to inflate air mattress, super lightweight, packs down very, very small, essential, keeps you off the ground, adds that little bit of insulation, makes it a comfortable to be camping. It's not like the old days, you don't have to sleep just on a blanket. Get one of these, it's definitely worth the money. Another little handy essential is um, a good piece of body lining. Alpine Stars do some excellent stuff, just fits your body really tightly, uh, they do a summer one, a winter one, and I'm not joking you, that really makes a big difference when the temperature drops and you do some evening riding. It's lightweight, takes up hardly any room, and uh, occasionally I'll sleep in this stuff. It's like wearing a pair of long johns, so uh, really good. Uh, like I said, lightweight, compact. You can't always do it, but it's very handy. Take a few tools with you. Get a few essentials that fit your bike are essential to you. Uh, just make it easy, something that you can do at the side of the road, but it might get out of the jam. One thing I have to say is get some JB Weld or something like that. Quite often, you can have like little small problems that can be fixed easily and just get you to the next stop. So JB Weld, some plastic tie wraps, and if you can as well, maybe just a few nuts and bolts. I also always carry uh, two visors. Something for the, for the sunlight, something for the night time. Don't only go riding with adventures with this. It really affects your, uh, your vision in low light. Carry something like this so that you can just easily fit. Uh, but at the same time, if it's bright, these can sometimes be uh, a little bit too harsh and these are essential, so carry a spare visor. It's also essential that you keep your visor clean. I've come across this, the V2 sponge. Super easy, it comes in this little waterproof bag. Uh, just keep this little sponge in here moist and away you go, just keep your visor clean. Uh, like I said, you can do that on pit stops when you're filling up with your hydration, filling your bike with gas. Little V2 sponge, super handy. Also another little handy essential, small again, the jet boil. Boiling water, keeps you warm great on an evening. I've been using this for many years and I have to really recommend it. Keeps things just lightweight, things to a minimum, but this is one of those essentials, especially if you're going away for days at a time. I'd take one of these with you. Also, I've learned the hard way about taking clothes with you. Keep it light, keep it small, a few t-shirts, maybe a hoodie, keep the essentials down. Toothbrush, toothpaste, bar of soap, job done. Oh, deodorant, don't forget the deodorant. Nobody wants a smelly biker. So I hope we've helped and covered some essentials there about what to pack for your adventures. Next up, adventure gear, so stay tuned.